Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, a lot of people have trouble and sometimes we do things that cause trouble. Then other times we're just in the way of where trouble comes. You know, the Bible tells us that this world belongs to the devil. Now Jesus paid the price on Calvary and won the victory, but he hasn't redeemed the earth yet. He'll do that when he comes in the second coming. Now remember, the rapture of the church is not the second coming. The rapture is when the Lord's going to take the saints on out, and then at the second coming is when the great battle of Armageddon is going to be fought. But Jesus Christ on the cross, he reclaimed the earth back after Adam and Eve gave it away in the Garden of Eden. And Satan is the ruler of the earth, according to Ephesians chapter 2. So sometimes things in our lives happen to us, not because we've done bad things, but because we're in a wicked world and we are in situations that just happen. You know, it's important to understand that God loves you and cares for you, but this is not our home. So many times we get this on our mind so much, that this is our home, we have to be here, this is all that there is. But there's far greater than this, according to the Bible. There's a place, the Bible says, that Jesus has gone to prepare for us. And sometimes, beloved, when you have difficulties in your life, it may not be at all something that you've done wrong. It just may be that you're around lost people. You're in a world that's full of meanness and wickedness. And many innocent bystanders get hurt all the time. Now, I want to tell you that when you press on, God is well pleased. Even though we face things, we cannot change. And sometimes things happen to us that, well, we can't explain. But what I can tell you for sure is that Jesus Christ, according to the Bible, is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He'll stay right by your side. He'll help you through life's ways, whether they are good or whether they're difficult, because we face both of them. You know, cancer comes to an unsuspecting teenager or to someone that's 90 years old. Cancer is no respecter of persons. It hits the weak spots and tries to run and destroy whatever it's a hold of. You know, many things happen like that in life to us. Car crashes come. Many people look back and say, well, if God is so powerful, then why doesn't he stop all of this? Well, God is powerful enough to stop anything. But once again, as I said at the beginning, this world belongs to the devil. And according to Ephesians chapter 2, he's the prince and the power of the air. According to Ezekiel 28, God anointed the devil with power, and he has power. And according to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, what God gives power to, it keeps power. So you and I need to understand that God wants to help us, but we also have to understand that sometimes we have to face some bitter times. Sometimes things don't go always our way, and sometimes that's hard for us. Sometimes you can pray, and you can tithe, and you can be faithful, and you still get sick. That's just what this life brings us. I want to encourage you that just because some things happen in your life, don't disregard the love of God because he cares for you. Sometimes I put myself in that situation where I get sick, I don't take care of myself, I don't eat properly, or I've done something wrong and God's chastisement because he loves me has come in my life. And then sometimes it's just a victim of circumstance. Sometimes it just comes. Whatever it is though, whether I've caused it, whether uh, it just happens to come, or whether it just is something that no one can avoid, like a storm or a hurricane, I have to deal with it according to the grace of God. God will help you. He will not leave you comfortless. He will come to you. So be of good courage today. Everything that happens bad in your life is not because of sin. Some of it is, of course, but not all of it. But Jesus Christ is there through the good and the bad times. He'll always walk beside you, lead and guide you, and help you to the next step. Stand strong, and God will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. God bless you, we love you, and goodbye.